Today I'm going to talk about finding balance between simplicity and complexity, which is something I'm going to need if I am to reach my four creative goals, a film, a book, a record, a game, before I reach 40. So this week we have the first subscribers from both the UK and USA. If we take a look at the globe, we'll find UK over here. I guess it's one of those countries you kind of know where it is. So we'll put a pin there and say pleased to meet you or pleased to meet you. And if we go over to the USA, I guess the easy way and boring way would be to say uh, like, what's up or yo, something like that. But uh, we're gonna go into the middle here of the USA and uh, go with uh, Navajo, which I think is the most spoken language of the Native American languages in the USA. So, yaate, and uh, welcome everyone else too. So the past week started with my birthday, which I often get kind of stressed about. I usually don't feel very happy during my birthday, and I'm not completely sure why, but I suppose it could be something that is kind of a reminder that the, the time is limited. Uh, and another year has passed. But I organized a last minute afternoon tea for some friends, which was really nice. Then I got a birthday present from a girlfriend, uh, the Marvel Universe Live. I don't think I've been to something as American uh, outside of the US uh, before. We went there this Thursday. It was basically us and a lot of eight-year-olds and their parents. I haven't been to a circus in a while and it kind of felt like a circus I guess without any animals which is good. So there was like a story uh, with some of the Marvel heroes fighting some of the Marvel villains. Otherwise this week it has been a writing week in school and uh, I have mostly worked with the emo thriller I tried to finish the outline, I guess you're never finished, but I made a new version, which I got feedback on uh, yesterday. And uh, I've kind of tweaked it into, before it was more plot driven, but now it's more about character. And I think I need to push that a little bit more uh, for it to work completely, but uh, I, I like where it's heading. And the main part of the feedback that I take back with me is um, that when I write stuff, I like to make to simplify them and make them as short as possible. So I've done this with the outlines. So it was over like two and a half page for a thirty-minute uh, film. But what I realized is that a lot of the details. Um, were hard to see uh, in this limited text. So the next outline I'm just gonna make it bigger so that I can fit all of the details in it. Uh, because I mean it's basically a work document that you want to be able to see all the details and all the different like plot lines and uh, character arcs, how the development looks. I also recorded a video actually on the, how I worked with the idea for the emo thriller and uh, a synopsis for it. And I hope that I'll be able to upload it this week. I've also been working a little bit on uh, the quad game. I did the first playtest this week and uh, if the emo, emo thriller was perhaps too sim simple in uh, what I presented. I think the quad rules were over complex. So the main thing I take with me from that is that it's, you don't want a lot of calculation when you play a board game. 
you had like there was a lot of stats um, and even if it's only three like you take your strength when you do an attack and then you add uh, the weapon modifier and then you roll a die that's still like three things you have to add together and then you want to subtract the enemy's um, stat and uh, yeah it's a little bit too much then again like if you look at the game like D&D Dungeons and Dragons um, it's also very complex there's a lot of rules and uh, the character cheats are always like you have two sides with a lot of stats but what I realized is that the complexity in a game like D&D is in you, you can see you can see all the stats while looking at the, the sheet but the moment you decide to do something with those stats uh, it all comes down to that specific one so you just roll a die and see if it's over or under and yeah it all becomes very simple and uh, you don't have much choice so the choice is to choose which of the simple ways you want to do it and uh, I'll try to keep that in mind uh, when I continue working on the quad game to, to find those, find the complexity but in a simple way. The upcoming week is gonna be pretty hectic. I feel pretty stressed now uh, actually. It's one of those workshop weeks and that I had a couple of weeks ago and we will work with the scenes and the visual language of the stores we're creating. So I guess because I don't feel I'm completely finished with the outline uh, for the emo thriller, I, I would have loved <laughs> to be that so I could really start working with it. But I guess that's also part of the process. You have to iterate a little bit uh, back and forth. So the goal, I guess, is to finalize the outline and to do all of those assignments that we have. I have uh, peeked on them and uh, they look quite fun. So I don't think that will be a problem, it won't feel boring to do them, but uh, they are quite demanding, especially when you don't feel that the material you're starting from is uh, completely finished. If I have more free time the upcoming week, I will work on the quad rules, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll see next week if I had time or not. This week's one cool thing is a podcast called 99% Invisible. It's um, about design and architecture, even though the episodes I've been listening to now are... It feels more like trivia, uh, fun trivia. So one of the episodes was about a telephone booth in the middle of the Mojave desert that you could call to. And another one was about this uh, like Star Trek-ish control room uh, that uh, President Allende had in Chile before Pinochet uh, did his coup, uh, where they tried to like find a way to control uh, all the factories and uh, to like streamline the process and uh, logistics between uh, those factories. Each episode is about like 20 minutes to 30 minutes so they are very short uh, but the subjects are very interesting if you like those kinds of things. So I'll post a link down in the description and uh, yeah, take a look. So that was what I had this week. Uh, as you may have noticed I didn't have like a main topic really. Uh, Feel free to tell me what you feel about that. Does it work without the main topic or do you miss that? If this was the first uh, progress vlog that you've seen with me, uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to continue to follow me on my journey in reaching my four creative goals before I reach 40. That was what I had this week. Thank you and see you soon.